Hey guys, so this is just a review of the new Sigma 50 f1.4 DG art lens and I'll just be talking about the lens and um, comparing it with my two other lenses the Sigma 35 f1.4 art and the Canon 2470 f2.8 Mark II lens and uh, just to see the differences in the size and um, just the look and feel of the lens So as you all know, this is a fixed um, focal length 50mm mm prime um, It has an aperture of f1.4 to f16 with nine rounded blade apertures. It has uh, it is um, 855 grams, and with a filter thread of 77 millimeters. And um, it's not weather sealed with no rubber gasket here. So build quality is really good. It's really a premium feel I would say ever since Sigma's new global vision. The lenses are superb, and it's a mixture of plastic and metal, the different parts. But it looks very, very similar to a Zeiss lens, so this is really good. So putting it right next to its um, smaller brother, the 35 f1.4 art lens, you can see there's a difference in the height at about 1 cm difference, but the weight difference is much bigger. This is uh, about 695 grams, and this comes in close to 900 grams. So, but overall, the feel of these lenses, the Sigma's new global vision lenses, they are great. And definitely, you can see the difference in the size of the focus ring. The 35, it's here. And the 50. One thing I'll comment about the 50 is that the focus ring is much smoother. Definitely much smoother compared to the 35. And the AF MF um, switch is has a much nicer feel. So putting it up against my Canon 2470 f2.8 Mark II lens, you can see that the height difference is just marginal. Um, given that the Canon lens cap is a bit taller than the Sigma one, you can see actually it's fairly similar. And But in terms of the width, this is still a much beefier lens and um, definitely um, harder to use for street shooting as compared to this. Um, this ex when it extends, of course, is going to be much longer. An 82 millimeter filter thread compared to the 77, and the build quality is this is actually still heavier than this, just by a bit, about 50 grams, but it is noticeable when you use it. And this is of course made of new Canon's new um, favorite material, which is plastic. Now, I still prefer the Mark One, which is full metal, but uh, the Sigma Art Lens, the new Global Vision line, is. Uh, Definitely much premium and I would say very comparable to the Zeiss um, lenses for Canon and Nikon. And with the hood attached, Canon's hood has the clip, so you can really hear it, the resounding clip. And um, as for the um, Sigma, here you have it with the hood on. It's so much bigger now, much bigger compared to the, the Sigma 35, which is still my favourite lens to use for street and stuff. And with the battle shape hood, the 35, you can just see, three of them lined up there. Yeah, I usually shoot without the hood when I'm doing um, street photography, but um, for events and for landscapes, how we use the hood. Or whenever possible, I will try to use the hood. And that's one comment I have to say about the 50, is that it is definitely much bigger than the normal 50 that I used to have, which is the 50 f1.8 Canon, which died on me because I dropped it. So I was looking to buy a 50 and comparing this between this and the 50 f1.2 L. And at half, at in um, coming in at half the price of the 51.2, this is a definitely better value proposition. Um, $898, Aussie dollars here. And it's sharp at f1.4, the sharpest lens that I own right now. Even sharper than the Sigma 35, which I found hard to believe. So I'll post some um, sample photos at the end of this video that I took with this lens, just for simple walkabout, some street stuff. And I hope you guys like it. Um, just leave a comment if you've got any questions below. And yep, um, that's all.
Thanks for watching.